fucking drop it. Sometimes when corrupt cops forget to turn off their camera, what unfolds is a gripping display of raw, unfiltered misconduct. In these four cases, you will see the untamed reality of law enforcement's darker side, especially in this first case where officers turned the front porch of a house into a wrestling stage. On October 28, 2018, what started as a normal dog complaint spiraled into utter drama when Canton police attempted an arrest and the entire family jumped in. And this is a na your next door neighbor, or? No, no, she stays in the house right, um, right there. The one she's talking to, right here. Gotcha. I just went down. I talked to her. And what's the dog warden want with you? I he was like, "Man, I'm gonna shoot your dog. I don't care about what you're saying." And he told my kids, "Shut up and run in the house." And I seen the gun. I I, I ain't seen no badge or nothing. He just was like, "Well." Okay. Yeah, he put, like he was gonna reach for his gun and shoot. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll go talk to him. Listen, I didn't listen. I didn't put no gun on nobody. I didn't threaten. No, listen, I, he's fine. He let me listen. take his gun. No, wait a minute. You can burn my name. I know. Yeah, no, you you were you were fine. You let me take it. I didn't come we're off cool. the porch. Nope. You I didn't were fine. The, look at fine. the 911 call and listen what I'm saying. Listen, I'll I'll run it. Run right here, right here. I'm not I'm not running. I'm not having a they problem with you. See, th this dude, I'm just here because he was having this a problem. Guy, this guy, right here, attitude was so. What is, what is he here Shoot for? Shoot my dog. What is he here for? Did we get past that? What are you here for? This dog was over at that lady's house. She's writing a statement. Went after her and her little dog. She had to scoop her dog up. Hey, ma'am. Hey, did me and you talk earlier? Okay. And then what was your plan? My plan was to write him a ticket, have him go out and get a dog license, and I would void the ticket. Pulling a gun on the warden wasn't needed, but the cops were just as bad with their rude attitude. They seem dead set on proving the man wrong before even understanding his point fully. Well, you, you brought the dog out and tied it no, up I on didn't. the leash. No, I didn't. Like an intimidation thing while I'm standing no, up on the did. front porch. Officer. The dog's running around my, my feet. Officer. I asked him to put the dog back he in the house. He said you the dog out. Oh, he said you didn't have to put the dog, dog, put the dog in the house. The dog wouldn't bite you. I said, well, I Officer. appreciate Please, if you put the dog in the house. If not, the dog comes after me when I go to my van. That is a lie. shoot it if it comes after me. That is a if it comes after you. That is a lie. Hey, you said You're if a lie. the dog comes out and bites you, I'm oh, going to shoot. You did not say if the dog comes to your bank, you're going to shoot. You're exactly so right. That's my dog. Don't lying. you call hey, my dog. Hey, 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 hey. You better get out of there. Right Stop right, right now. Don't you call my dog. Stop. Stop. Hey, stop. Hey, stop. Absolutely hey, not. Don't you call me. Chill. Hey, relax. Relax. Or you can go to the car. I'm going to go to the car. I'm going to the Relax. What do no, I do? Let go of him. Listen, Re relax. Relax. He's he's under right arrest. Come to my car before this gets way out of here. What, what, what is he under arrest for? What is he being detained for? What is he being detained for? Is he going to read him his rights to stop? What is he being detained for? 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 Relax. Relax. Stop. What do I do? Use your power. What am I under arrest for? Relax. What? What am I under arrest for? Who is going to come get to my brother like that? Hey, no, stop, no, 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 Oh, 
police officer practically shoved that guy while taunting him with challenging statements. The arrest was utterly unfair, and dragging and throwing people on the floor was just downright wrong. In the aftermath of this chaotic incident in Canton, potential charges against the officers could include excessive force and civil rights violations. Police rarely own up to their mistakes, just like this next officer who dragged an elderly man simply because the man didn't admit he was in the wrong. On May 30th, 2021 in Idaho, a neighbor feud took a terrifying turn. What should have been a simple complaint shifted shockingly when 75-year-old Michael Clark was tased and then dragged unconscious through the hallway by the cops. What's going on? He wasn't here. Dog wasn't here. Okay, then what's going on? I came out and I was like, what's going on? Right to the mouth. He is an older man. I, I honestly don't know. When you get knocked the f out, you don't really. We just moved in the okay. When did this happen? 20 minutes, 15. I, like, I called. Not I, even. I, yeah, not even. I called, like, I walked in the door and. I, he busted all of my, my nose, my mouth. The girl was totally smashed and rambling nonsense. It was impossible to believe anything she said. She was nowhere near sober. Was he white, black? He's Hispanic. white. Does he have hair? Yeah. He bald? So gray like, hair? Yeah, gray hair. He's an older guy. He's this tall. That, and that guy lives right there in that room. And that's where the wall would go. And he was seeing him Bang, before. bang, bang. That's so what woke me him. up. We just, I, we just moved in here yesterday, but I saw him like yesterday, last night. Okay. wrong with that cop? Tasing a 75-year-old man without any proper investigation or concrete proof was shockingly barbaric and highly unprofessional, especially over a complaint from a drug addict and alcoholic. That officer was absolutely twisted. And 
then okay. I pound on the wall okay. until they knock it off. And I was doing nothing except playing there sleeping. Okay. And, and so I'll they talk were, to her. Okay. And they were banging on the wall. I mean, Are you loud. Down? It was downright sickening to watch. The way they dragged Michael was beyond appalling. The officers are complaining that Michael had a weapon, ignoring that they never announced themselves while knocking. This is why we need body cams. And I thought it was them coming after me. These people were... I mean, an officer, I was just... These people over there were... They hit my walls so hard, I thought they were coming through it. You know that? What's that? They hit that wall of my there. I thought they were coming through it. Okay, all right. All right, here, here, here's, what, what's your name? What's your first name? Mike. Mike? Okay, you're under arrest right now, okay? So you have the right to remain silent? Sure, she's been drinking. Okay, I get that, and that's part of my. It doesn't even matter. That's yeah, my own. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, that's, that's my. When I have somebody here. banging on the wall oh, yeah, and they punch me in my face, right? Because I ask him, is that's, there? Am I being too loud? That's why we're here. I'm here for. Yes, we're here for you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh. What, what's your name again? What's your name again? Brittany. Brittany. My name's Ellie. Okay. You're okay. <laughs> You're okay. All right. Officers treated Michael like a dangerous criminal instead of just an old guy caught up in a neighborhood argument. People lie all the time, but the cops didn't care to think that maybe they should have treated everyone fairly until they knew what was really going on. Michael was seriously injured, and he was taken to the hospital. At the end of the ordeal, Idaho Springs reached a settlement in the case involving 75-year-old Michael Clark. The settlement included a $7 million payout to Clark. The officers involved faced scrutiny, and the department agreed to implement new policies to prevent similar incidents in the future. Cops are supposed to be on top of things, but this next one took active duty to a whole new level, turning his life into chaos instantly. On July 6, 2024, at 12.50 a.m., a safety complaint in Springfield involving Sonia Massey turned into a terrifying killing zone when Deputy Sean Grayson brutally ended her life. The horrific incident sent shockwaves through the community. Sheriff's office, the one you called. Hurt you. You called us. Okay. Please. So what'd you hear? Um, somebody outside my house. Uh, uh, is this your car over here? Please, uh, please, uh, please. Is this your car over here? Uh-uh. Oh. Please, uh, That's not your black car in the driveway? Uh -uh. Oh. Well, we checked your yard. We walked around the whole block. We didn't see anybody. What do you need any help with? Nothing. I just, please, uh, please, uh, please. I don't know what to do. Do with what? Huh? What do you need help with? Nothing. I just what do you want help with? Huh? What do you want help with? Uh, I heard somebody outside. Yeah, we checked your house. We checked your backyard. I walked all the way through all these backyards. We checked your front yard. We didn't see nobody. Yeah, so nobody's out here. We didn't see anybody. Nope, nope. Oh. We checked the whole area. Okay. What took you so long to answer the door? Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes, sir. I'm sorry. I was trying to get I got you. All right. Sorry. Is there anything else we can do for you? No. Yeah. Is there anything else I can do for you? Um, no, sir. Okay, okay. All right. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure? All right. Okay. I love y'all. Thank y'all. All right. That's not your black car, though. SUV? Whose is it? You don't know? If someone just parked it in your driveway? Mm -hmm. They brought it to my driveway. And just left it? Mm -hmm. Grayson's attitude was outrageous. He questioned the lady's mental health, even though she was just a woman living alone. All of this while she specifically asked him not to rush her right after she opened the door. It was totally uncalled for.
off right now. No, hold on, wait a second, wait a second, sir. You can hang up, Todd, that looks good. You're there with the deputy, correct? No, hold on, okay? You can hang up. Hold on for one. Uh, just one second, okay? <laughs> yeah, I can check out. Okay. Has there, was there any damage previous to your car? Uh, previous, yeah. Okay, was. what was the damage? Uh, a dent, I believe. What about windows? Oh, that it was something that happened earlier. Okay, perfect. Uh, what is your last name? Uh, Shouldn't have to think about your last name. Okay. You're not in trouble. I just need to Massey. attach. Huh? Massey. Huh? Yeah. Massey. Do you have an ID? That makes things so much easier. I, I just need to get just a driver's license will do, and now I get out of your hair. I want to show y'all my paperwork. I will what? get your paperwork. What paperwork? Okay. I got some paperwork. We'll just get your ID. Real well, let's get your ID session. first, and then one task at a time here. Okay. First, he told her to focus on one task, but ignored Sonia's attempt to show her paperwork to find her ID. Instead, he rushed her to turn off the stove. Grayson himself was unsure of what he actually wanted. Where am I? You, you have... see that stack right there, maybe? I was on, I was on. I'm gonna go get my kit. No, your head's not good, you're done. You can go get it, but that's a headshot. <clears throat> Fuck. 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 God damn it. God. I, dude, I'm not saying it's boring on her head. Hey, look, it came right to our feet, too. God damn This was sheer inhumanity. He first shot Sonya in the head, and then refused to even get her medical help. She was treated like a suspect in her own home. Sonia didn't deserve any of that. You good? All right. Well, I mean, you know, what else do we do? I'm not taking hot boiling water to the face and it already reached us. Fuck. <clears throat> They got a 52 in route? Yeah, 1078. She's still breathing, but she's losing a lot of blood from the head. I'll go get my med kit. Go, go get, yeah, hurry, get your med kit. I mean, there's not much we can do. We can at least try and hold the, stop the blood. Do we got any call history with her being 1096? So, is there anything you think we can do for her? No. Alright, I'm not even going to waste my med stuff then. You want to run down real quick? Nope, not yet. Alright. House is clear. She was the only one. Where'd you go? No, she had a boiling water and came at me with boiling water. You sure? Yeah. She said she was gonna rebuke me in the name of Jesus and came out with blowing water. That's what all this is. I was standing right here. All right. And that's where he's landed. <clears throat> what do y'all need from us? Just nothing right now. Just hang out out there for me. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> She spotted the demon the moment he walked into the house, and the lies Grayson spun were shocking. Even the other cop could tell his partner was completely out of line. Anything on suspect? 
B. <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't yeah. know what happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, he's got tape. I, I think I got a roll. I got some coming up. Killing an innocent, harmless person and then calling her a crazy bitch spoke volumes about the whole incident. This cop was nothing short of a devil. His actions were absolutely terrifying. After the fatal shooting, Grayson faced criminal charges, including manslaughter. The Illinois sheriff resigned amid the controversy, and Grayson has been held in prison. The legal process is ongoing, and sentencing will depend on the court's proceedings and the outcome of the trial. What's the badge number? I gave it to you two times, man. Okay, I'm asking again. And I'm not giving it to you. Okay. On August 09, 2022, in Atlanta, Georgia, an after-hours parking citation took a wild turn when a woman refused to sign the ticket. What followed was a jaw-dropping display of extreme force by Deputy Brooke and a complete breakdown in communication. All right, sir, like I explained to you, uh, you can't be in the park at night. Everyone was going to receive a uh, simple ticket stating that uh, he was in the park half an hour. All right? I need you to sign right on that. Where am I signing over? Is it, is it a charge or anything? Or is it uh, just, it's just a ticket. Come over here for me, ma'am. Can you come here, ma'am? All right, so you're going to receive a ticket for being in the park after hours. All right? Just need to sign right here on the X. But because we're out of, didn't you say we were out of time so we wouldn't have known that? Yeah, but that's, that's not a valid reason why. You should be in the park because you're from out of time. And what's your back name? 7452, Officer Brooks. What's your first name? I'm not, I'm not going to give you my first name. Okay, and I don't have to sign this, right? You do have to sign it. No, I don't. Okay. Well, like I explained to him, if you don't sign it, then mm -hmm. you're going to be physically taken to jail. Gotcha. So you refusing to sign? What's your name? Officer Brooks, 7452. She only asked for the badge number and name, but Officer Brooke acted like he was superior. He demanded answers but refused to field any questions himself just because he was a cop. What's the badge number? I gave it to you two times, man. Okay, I'm asking again. And I'm not giving it to you. Okay. Are you going to sign it? No, because I want your badge okay. number. Gonna put your hands behind your back for me? Hey, listen, my man. She says she's not signing it. Put your hands behind your back. Sir, ma'am. You're hurting me. Okay. I'm asking you to put your hands behind your back. Um, sir. Put your hands behind your back. Sir. Ma'am, put your hand behind your back. Come on. I need you to back up. I'm just saying, like, I need you, you to back you up. You don't need to touch her like that. She's, she's, she's not putting her hands she behind was, her she was, back. I'm asking, and I'm asking she a question. Asking for the okay. I'm, I'm just, all I'm doing put is asking Put your hands behind your back. I asked you to sign the ticket. You told me you're not signing I, but, Sir, put your hands I, behind I'm your asking back. you a question. Okay. I'm letting you know. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm going to forcibly put your hands behind your back. But, sir, Mr. Brooks, is this really necessary? Mr. Brooks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, listen, my she man. Needs back put, up. She needs to put her, let her, let can her, I, her phone down. Okay, you can put down. your phone down. Okay, let her Mr. Put, Brooks. Give her a chance to have, come oh on, God. sir. Hold on. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not saying that I'm refusing to sign the ticket. I'm going to no, sign the ticket. You don't have an option now. Because I'm, I, but I'm going to sign the ticket, Mr. Brooks. I'm going to sign the ticket. I'm going to sign the ticket. No, I'm not here to play games with you. I know, but I'm going to sign. Put your I'm, hands behind your I'm back. Going, Mr. Brooks, I'm going to sign. Put your hands behind your back. Why you're am I saying that? You're acting a little resistant. Actually, to sign the ticket, you told me you're not I'm, signing. I'm going to sign the ticket now, Mr. Brooks. I'm going to sign the ticket. You don't have that option now. Why don't I have the option, Mr. Brooks? Because I gave you two options. 
All this nonsense should have ended the moment she said she was going to sign the ticket. Standing in the park after hours shouldn't have led to such brutal treatment. to the ground and arresting her without answering her questions was beyond outrageous. Instead of making us feel safe, these officers turned into a nightmare. Can I please have my phone, sir? Mr. Burke, can I please have my phone? Please. You're in custody. Can you give Mr. Nick my phone, please? Yeah, I can give him your phone. Can you please give him my phone? That's fine. Thank you, sir. Nick, can you please get my phone? Mr. Boyce is gonna give you my phone, Nick. I'm hurting. Oh my God, I'm hurting. Oh my God. I'm hurting. 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 I'm h
After all that intense and forceful probing, it's clear she was left hurt and bruised. This entire mess could have been avoided if both sides had set aside their egos and actually listened to one another. Although the woman's reaction might have been excessive, it was the officer's responsibility to remain composed. His use of force was completely unnecessary and should never be part of police procedures. Was the use of excessive force really justified over a simple parking citation? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you liked the video, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one we have in store for you. Thanks for watching. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.